Hello and welcome back to Physics Teacher. In this episode, I am going to go over all the general equations that you're going to need in order to do Desmos art. And then at the end, I will speed draw a stitch here, so stay tuned. All right, so welcome back. What we're going to do is you're going to put in these equations and it, find it very easy if you're going to have sliders because then what you can do is you can move uh, your lines or curves around to exactly what you need and then you can input that exact equation later and you can come back and use the slider again and again and again and you can just make them invisible when you don't need it. So let's go over all those basic equations. First one is a linear equation, so your y equals mx plus b, and then you can change your slope and your y-intercept to wherever you might need that line. Your next one is a quadratic, and the easiest one to use is vertex form here, because you can change um, the steepness, or you can invert it, and it's very, very easy to change its x position and its y position to wherever you might need it. All right, the next one is a circle. Looks like this. And you can change the size of that circle and where it is located in X or in Y. Now if you don't have something that's a perfect circle, right, another option would be down here. We have an ellipse. So we have we can still change its position in X or in Y and of course we can still change the size but what we can do is if I change what I've called G and J here it, you can make it more elongated in different directions which can really help you to get that perfect shape that you need. Sometimes you might want an exponential, which is down here. Okay, so this exponential, you can make something curve a lot. Right? Sometimes if you want it to curve a lot more than say a regular quadratic, you can do that. And of course you can change its position as well. Now if you have a quadratic but you want that quadratic to be sideways, you can replace, just switch your x's and y's, and so you'll have something like this. Right? And so you can open either to the left or to the right for whatever shape, and you can change its position in x and in y. Now here's another quadratic which you might need sometimes, this is the last one I'm going to show you. Um, this, by the way, is an O, and that's a phi. I ran out of letters to use with all these equations. Um, a phi, you can just type the Greek letter P-H-I, and phi comes up. For square root, you can type S-Q-R-T, and your square root will come up. And for this one, it is a quadratic, but you'll see if that's a square, that's your normal quadratic here. But if you change that from a square to even numbers, you'll see it becomes more and more and more like a square, if you wanted something like that. And you can, of course, change this as well. And you can even get a nice triangle. You could also use this as an absolute value function as well, but this one certainly is easy to do. And of course, as always, you can change its position in X or in Y. So those are the, all the equations that you can use to pretty much do anything you like. Now let's speed draw, speed draw our stitch. <laughs> 